This video is all about how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming to boost FPS, fix lag, and achieve smooth, stutter-free performance. Before applying these tweaks, my games were running with inconsistent frames and random slowdowns. But after making these optimizations, everything feels way smoother and more responsive. So make sure to watch till the end to get the best results. And if this guide helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on the video. It really supports the channel. So guys, in the first step, we'll focus on improving system performance through registry editor tweaks. These adjustments fine tune how Windows allocates system resources, giving your games top priority for smoother, faster performance. To get started, open the registry editor by typing registry editor into the Windows search bar. Right click it and choose run as administrator to make sure you have full access. Once it opens, copy the first registry path provided in the video description, paste it into the address bar at the top, and press enter to go directly to the correct location. The first key you'll edit is affinity. Double click it and change the value data to F, making sure the base is set to hexadecimal before pressing OK. This tweak allows Windows to use all available CPU cores for gaming tasks, maximizing processing power and preventing performance limitations caused by restricted core usage. Next, look for background only and set its value to false. This ensures that your games are treated as foreground processes, not background ones, so Windows doesn't lower their performance priority while running. Then, Find GPU priority, open it, and change the value data to E, base hexadecimal. This forces Windows to prioritize your graphics card during rendering, reducing frame drops, and improving visual smoothness during intense gameplay. Move on to the priority key and set its value data to 6. This gives gaming tasks a higher CPU execution priority making them more responsive and reducing input lag. After that, locate scheduling category and FSI IO priority and set both to high. These adjustments make Windows treat your game as a top level task, speeding up data handling and minimizing loading delays. Once you've applied all these tweaks, close the registry editor. You've now instructed Windows to focus its power entirely on gaming performance. Benefits After applying this step, games receive top priority at the system level, resulting in smoother gameplay and faster responsiveness. CPU and GPU resources are distributed more efficiently, minimizing lag, stutters, and frame drops load times and input delays are significantly reduced, creating a truly stutter-free gaming experience on Windows 11. All right, guys, the next step is to disable hidden Windows services that silently consume CPU and memory in the background. Many of these services aren't essential for gaming, yet they run continuously, wasting valuable performance resources. Start by opening the Windows search bar typing services and clicking on the services app from the results. This will open a detailed list of all background services running on your system. Here's where we'll carefully disable only the ones that are safe to turn off and known to affect gaming performance. First, find connected user experiences and telemetry. This service constantly tracks system activity and sends diagnostic data to Microsoft. It serves no purpose for gaming and can cause minor CPU usage spikes. Right click it, select properties, set the startup type to disabled, then click stop, apply, and OK. This prevents background data collection, freeing up processing power for your games. Next, locate diagnostics policy service which works alongside telemetry. Disabling it further reduces background monitoring and helps eliminate random stutters during gameplay. Follow the same process. Right-click, choose properties, 
set it to disabled, stop it if running, and confirm your changes. If you don't use a printer, disable print spooler. It stays active even without a connected printer and consumes memory unnecessarily. Open its properties, set startup type to disabled, stop it, and confirm. This has no negative effect if you never print documents. Another service that can be turned off is the Program Compatibility Assistance Service, which mainly supports older software. Since modern games and apps don't rely on it, disabling this service can help speed up program launches and reduce unnecessary background checks. For users who never rely on remote desktop, disable remote desktop services, remote registry, and remote desktop configuration. These services sit idle most of the time, but still occupy system resources. So turning them off helps reduce startup load and CPU overhead. Now, look for Windows Error Reporting Service. This one sends crash and error reports to Microsoft, but it can sometimes cause short freezes or input delays during games. Disabling it prevents those interruptions and slightly improves system responsiveness. By disabling these background services, you remove unnecessary system overhead and allow Windows 11 to dedicate more power to gaming. The result is smoother gameplay, faster responsiveness, reduced lag, and fewer stutters giving you a noticeably cleaner and more consistent gaming experience. Now guys, we'll optimize your paging file settings, a powerful tweak that helps reduce RAM-related lag, micro stutters, and slowdowns during gaming. The paging file, also known as virtual memory, acts as an extension of your physical RAM. To get started, open the Windows search bar and type View Advanced System Settings. Click on it and in the window that appears, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Performance section, click Settings, then in the new window, go to the Advanced tab once again. Under Virtual Memory, select Change. You'll now see your system's paging file configuration. First, uncheck the box labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. After that, select your C drive or whichever drive your Windows is installed on and choose Custom Size. This lets you manually assign the best values for your system's performance. Here's how to calculate the correct settings. Find out how much RAM you have. Multiply your total RAM in gigabytes by 1024 to get the initial size in megabytes. Then double that number to get your maximum size. For example, if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, use 8192 megabytes as the initial size and 16384 megabytes as the maximum size. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, use 16384 megabytes as the initial size and 32768 megabytes as the maximum size. Once you've entered your values, click set, then OK, and restart your PC to apply the changes. After the restart, you'll likely notice smoother gameplay, faster loading, and fewer frame drops during heavy scenes. The paging file adjustment ensures that Windows always has a backup pool of memory available, reducing stuttering, improving frame pacing, and keeping your gaming session stable, even when RAM usage peaks. Now guys, in the next step, we're gonna use Gear Up Booster to further improve performance and reduce ping while gaming. This tool helps optimize your network connection and system routes, giving you lower latency, faster response times, and smoother online gameplay overall. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. 
On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite, or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Nod tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now guys, in the next step, we'll focus on disabling background apps, using the group policy editor to free up valuable system resources. Turning them off ensures your PC dedicates maximum performance to your games, resulting in smoother gameplay, better responsiveness, and higher FPS. To begin, open your start menu and type edit group policy. Click on the option labeled Edit Group Policy to launch the Group Policy Editor. Once it's open, follow this path. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, App Privacy. Inside the App Privacy folder, locate the setting named Let Windows Apps Run in the Background. Double click it to open the configuration window. By default, this setting is usually not configured, which means Windows allows background apps to run freely and consume resources even when idle. To disable them completely, select Enabled, then under Default for All Apps, choose Forced to Deny from the drop-down menu. Once done, click Apply, then OK to confirm your changes. This adjustment effectively stops unnecessary background apps from launching automatically ensuring that your system's power is focused entirely on active tasks. All right, guys, let's optimize Windows 11 power settings for maximum performance, a crucial step to make sure your CPU and GPU run at their full potential without throttling. This configuration ensures your system consistently delivers smooth gameplay and stable frame rates. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing Choose Power Plan. Click on it to open the Power Options window. You'll likely see your PC set to Balanced. For gaming, select High Performance instead. This plan prioritizes performance and responsiveness, though it consumes slightly more power, an ideal trade-off for better gaming results. Next, click Change Plan Settings then select Change Advanced Power Settings. In the new window that appears, you'll find several categories you can fine tune. PCI Express. Expand this section and set Link State Power Management to Off. This prevents your GPU from entering power saving mode, allowing it to maintain full performance during gameplay. Processor Power Management. Expand this section, then set both minimum processor state and maximum processor state to 100%. This ensures your CPU runs at full speed at all times, eliminating throttling that could cause FPS drops or stutters. Once you've applied these changes, click Apply and OK, then close the window. Your PC is now configured to use maximum performance mode. Benefits after applying this step, prevent CPU throttling, ensuring your processor maintains peak power throughout gaming sessions. Allows your GPU to perform at full capacity without unnecessary power limits. That's it for today's guide. If these tweaks helped boost your FPS and smooth out your gameplay, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more gaming optimization tips.